What a night, what an atmosphere and what a moment for David Weir, the poster boy of the games. Here is the full lineup for the men's 800 metres T54. David Weir starts in seven for this 800, two laps of the track. Saishan Congen is on the inside, he got the bronze in the 100. This is Josh Cassidy, he missed out on the 5,000 metre final. Marcel Hoog, the long-term rival, but he's finished fourth behind Weir in the 1500 and the 5000. Silver helmet, they call him the bullet. Jordan Bird, young, powerful, excellent in qualification. He wants to make a name for himself. This is the stage on which to do it. Julien Casoli, bronze in the 5000 meters. Is he fresh enough to mount a challenge? And how will they go about stopping the hat trick? Here he is. What a roar. The decibels for Mo Farah were clocked at 111 when he took his second gold. For Weir, it was 110. Lixin Xiang from China. Gold in the two and 400 meters four years ago. He too went well in qualification. What games can they play and what tactics will they bring to the fore? Guy Dai Kim of Korea is on the outside. He got a bronze in the 1500 meters. It's two laps, it will be fast. And Jeff Adams, what do they have to do to stop Dave Weir? Well, Dave has drawn a bad lane here. He's gonna have to be very focused on the start, place himself well, but lane seven is a disadvantage for him. The Werewolf is here, and he's hungry for a third gold medal. The noise is already deafening. The flashlights are going off all around the stadium. Zhang of China has gone on the outside. Konzhen from Thailand on the inside, and Dave Weir second from the left. This break is important. He's got to get into a good position here, and it's Zhang from China leading at the moment with Dave Weir in second place. So you see what Dave is doing. He's keeping his right, his front wheel just to the outside of Zhang's rear right. That may be a recall. If it's inside the first 200 meters, that crash may be recalled. Yes, they have gone down one or two of the competitors. I think it was Casoli, the Frenchman. So we're coming up to the bell now in the men's 800 meters. Jiang is leading, Dave Weir second, Hoog is in third, Konjen on the inside. And the Korean Kim is trying to come on the outside. Dave Weir needs to make sure he doesn't get boxed. Jiang followed by Weir. Watch out for Kim, he's in white, and Marcel Hoog's there as well. They're all queuing up, the crowd are on their feet. They want a third goal for Dave Weir. The atmosphere is absolutely electric. Jiang on the inside, Dave Weir's going wide, Marcel Hoog is tracking him. Dave Weir needs to draw on all the reserves of confidence and strength here because this is so, so close. Jiang and Dave Weir is now taking the lead. Hoog's trying to go on the outside, but Dave Weir has done it again. We have been graced by greatness tonight, and it has come in the form of David Weir. One, two, three golds. It has been his week, and this is his night. He is sitting on top of the world, and all we can do is stare in awe and wonder. The Werewolf has made this stadium his own over the last week. What a man, and what a piece of composure. There was all sorts going on in that race. He had to dig really, really deep for that one. And every single person in this stadium is on their feet. Dave Weir is without doubt the man of the moment. Three gold medals. How can you top that? Nobody in this stadium will ever, ever forget that they were here to see this magnificent man deliver once again. Racing at home has really suited Weir. He hates traveling, doesn't like being away from his family, but he really has made this stadium his home. He's managed to not just listen to the noise of the stadium, but chose instead to feel the sound of a nation when it gets behind a hero. Well, it's amazing here. 
the lights that shone for the opening ceremony have been illuminated again. We have flashes of white, blue and red on the top tier of the stadium. The crowd have realised they're in the shot. The noise is absolutely deafening.